In question 28, we are given the diagram of the circle x squared plus y squared equals 10. That's the equation of a circle that is centred at the origin and has radius square root 10. We are told that the point P lies on the circle and has x coordinate 1. So I've marked in the x coordinate 1 there. We are given that the tangent at P intersects the x axis at Q. So this tangent line here. And we need to find the coordinates of Q. How can we do that? Well, the first thing I would do is consider this dotted straight line here. So that straight line that goes from the origin to the point P. And why would I do that? Well, we know point P lies both on the line and the circle. But we have an equation for the circle and we know what the x-coordinate is. So we know that when x equals 1, 1 squared plus y squared equals 10. And that's at the point P. Yeah? So let's rearrange that. We're going to get that y squared equals 10 minus 1 squared, which is 9. This tells us that y equals 3. So point P has coordinates 1, 3. Now that's useful. What that tells us is the gradient of that line is 3. Okay, because it's the change in y over the change in x. That means though that the gradient of PQ, this line here, is the negative reciprocal of 3. Why? Because they are perpendicular. This is tangent to the circle and the line I've drawn there is perpendicular at that point. And we know that the gradient of perpendicular lines are the ne negative reciprocals of each other. So therefore, the gradient of PQ is negative a third. So let's come up with a general equation for this line. So line PQ, we're going to have y equals minus a third x, we know the gradient, plus c. But we know p is on this line. So p is on that line. So we can use the coordinates to find out what the intercept c is. So let's plug those in. Well, at the point p, y is 3. And that's equal to minus third of x, which is 1, plus c. So this tells us that c is going to be 3 plus a third, which is going to give us 10 over 3. So the equation of the line is minus a third x plus 10 over 3. So now how do we find the point q? Because we know q lies on this line. Well, this happens when y is 0. So for q, we're going to put 0 into this. So 0 equals minus a third x, which is minus 1 over 3 x plus c, which we know is 10 over 3. And if we rearrange that, we are going to get, I'm going to do it up here, that x equals 10. But now we need the coordinates. Well, we know that the y coordinate is 0, so the coordinates of q are going to be 10, 0.